how's it going guys it's december 26th 2023 winter time i'm collecting some cyan wood off of this pear tree and there were some questions that came up on in my comments and in facebook regarding uh, which scions to take and what's the difference between a vegetative bud and a fruit spur or a fruit bud for pears it gets a little bit tricky because sometimes it'll it'll make fruiting buds on the last season's growth and you can even see that this is a claps favorite it even tried to bloom at the end of summer now this is a the last season to grow now these pears never made it they dry it up on the tips here this is not good when a pear blooms that late because that's an entrance point for disease but sometimes they do that but basically what i was trying to say is they will make fruiting buds occasionally on one year growth so this this i just cut this off of here this is director director alfan and even though all these look like they're flower buds they're not all flower buds although some of them can turn out to be flower buds so it's sometimes difficult to tell but you know this is only one season of growth because there is no break if you follow the wood all the way down there are no nodes that break this stick up that's how you know it's one season of growth for example you can follow any other tip down it'll eventually hit a point where there's a node and even if it's not like branched off where it just it was straight and then it continues to grow for example we can follow this one down it goes down and even though it's still fairly straight with the other branch that is a node where the previous season's growth begins and from from this point onward is now two-year wood and you notice on the two-year wood that's a fruiting spur all these little flat buds in here some of them you can barely see some of them protrude out further these are all vegetative buds for grafting you want a vegetative bud because a fruiting spur will just bloom and it may or may not produce vegetative growth to form your tree and in order to make a new tree you want a vegetative bud to sprout through that bud and grow a shoot like any one of these branches to create your tree you really only need one bud one bud can take and produce you know this much growth in one season a couple feet of growth if you graft it to a vigorous tree this this entire sucker growth right here from here all the way down that's one that's one year wood that could get taken and all this could be turned into cyan wood this can be cyan wood from here to here from here onward is two year wood you don't want to be cutting chunks out of here and using that as cyan wood because these are fruiting spurs these are not vegetative buds you know they're fruiting spurs because they protrude out even further than vegetative buds even though some of the vegetative buds can do that too that's why it's kind of tricky with pears but if you go with one season growth with the last season's growth then you're you you play it safe you know there's they're mostly fruit they're mostly vegetative buds and you know it'll grow so always look for the last season's growth to harvest your cyan wood from if you just go in here and start harvesting chunks of the branch out of here and cutting that for cyan wood it's not going to work out for you here's a good piece of cyan 
that's the last season of the growth it usually has a difference in color the buds are flat up against the wood these are all vegetative buds fruiting spurs fruiting spurs so i hope from now on you can tell the difference these are all fruiting spurs there's the last seasons of growth on the side branch that's the last seasons of growth right there from from here onward everything else is two-year wood three-year wood four-year wood the lower down you go the older the wood gets now here's another example sometimes you'll have one season of growth let me see if i can get a good video of this sometimes you'll have one season of growth and the tree will stop growing for a couple weeks and then you maybe get some rains or change in the weather and it'll start growing again so even though it looks like there's a node here sort of like where it stopped growing and started again this entire growth here is actually all from the previous season this is all one season to grow but still this this end piece is probably going to make the best scion and the buds that kind of stick out sideways i try to avoid them if i can now it doesn't mean they're they're a lot worse these can get used for scion and they're going to do pretty well because they're not fruiting spurs i just tend to not really like i tend to not favor these scions over the scions that have flatter buds right up against the wood these are easier to break off when you're storing them grafting them but this is all usable wood this could all be scion wood but the buds on this piece are kind of sticking out now just because they're sticking out like that doesn't mean that they are fruiting spurs these are still vegetative buds that's why i said it's a little bit tricky for pears to uh, understand where your flower buds are and the vegetative buds are if you're a beginner for for people that grow pears and understand pears it's this is no new information this is nothing new that i'm explaining just just kind of getting some info out for some of you beginners out there hope this helps if you like my videos don't forget to subscribe to my channel tell other people about me this helps my channel grow i will have cyan wood available for sale I'll drop a link in the description. I will be selling trees, pear trees, apple trees, scion wood from apples, pears, plums, cherries, peaches, apricots, and a few others. So if you are interested in buying some varieties, this is Clap's favorite, by the way. If you're interested in buying some scion wood, then you can follow the link that has all the info that you need to place your order thank you guys for watching and i'll see you next time